there was this thread on Reddit where a Bitcoin Cash user uh, posted in the Monero subreddit offering twenty dollars to uh, try and trace the transaction to sort of uh, assess or demonstrate, you know, how private was uh, BCH, right? Uh, and it, so it took about twelve hours or less uh, for the Monero community to say, look, here's your transaction. We found it, you know, good luck with your sort of privacy coin uh, BCH, right? And the key sort of element to it uh, was that the, the person who was doing the test, they were sort of interested in this scenario of like Facebook stalking, right? That nowadays we've moved into a world where if you've just met someone a little bit and you've added them on Facebook or something, then you can sort of go browse around their feed and see what have they been up to and sort of stuff like that, right? And sort of thinking, well, if we had blockchains with all this uh, transparent information, is, does that mean financial information is going to be the same as those Facebook feeds where you can just go browse around the blockchain a little bit and find out what they've been doing? So he, he did put the transaction through a cash fusion to increase the anonymity. But what also happened was when proposing this challenge, it said in the description, uh, and I, but the money I spent was I spent about this much at this sort of uh, merchant somewhere. Because then if you think of that same scenario, it might be like if you and I went out to lunch and we were both at this place and we you know, paid some uh, BCH to, to buy our dumplings, right? Then, uh, <laughs> then, then you would you would already have that knowledge, right? Just casually. This is not. We're not talking about the, you know the government, uh, you know hackers or whatever uh, targeting you. We're talking about just a casual you and somebody else. Somebody might acquire this knowledge of how or where you were spending what amount of of, of BCH. And I think that that was part of how it was found was because they were able to look at the blockchain and say, okay, we know it was at one o'clock, you know, at this cafe. So if we look at the, all the transactions, you know, roughly in that window, we can see, well, what one would, would kind of match up. And then maybe they sort of backwards tracked it through the cash fusion to the original uh, transaction. I sort of felt like that was what had happened.